Hey, glad you're with me this morning. Let's finish chapter 3 now of Lamentations. This will be Lamentations 3, verses 64 to 66. Let's read it, and then we'll think about it. Repay them, O Lord, according to the work of their hands. Give them a veiled heart. Your curse be upon them. In your anger, pursue and destroy them from under the heavens of the Lord. Oh, this, is, this is pretty gritty, isn't it? And we come back to kind of a thought we had yesterday morning, reaping and sowing, sowing and reaping. In this life, we act out our choices, we make our choices, and some people operate against God's servants. Some people do us harm for no just reason. And so Jeremiah says, repay them, O Lord. He's telling how he feels like they need to be repaid, and they will be repaid. Hopefully they'll repent. Hopefully they'll have a total change of direction. But if they don't, um, they will receive, they'll reap what they've sown, the Bible tells us. Here's another thing to keep in mind here. When we pray to God, what are we doing? Well, he is sovereign. He is God. We're making suggestions. In fact, we're making very human suggestions. So a lot of times his ultimate infinite wisdom compared to our finite little uh, suggestions to him about what to do, many times it will be much better when he does something better than, than our, our wonderful, uh, giant, uh, tiny ideas. See, so we pray to him. We can tell him exactly how we're feeling, and we can give him even suggestions. Hey, you might want to do this, Lord. But we should always pray, Lord, uh, not my will, but your will be done. And usually he'll have something much better than what we had in mind. And much better would be if these people that mistreat God's servants repent and turn to him. And I know, I absolutely know that Jeremiah would would be thrilled down to his toes if every person who ever did him any harm, if if they could just all repent and be in the kingdom, he would give them the biggest hug anybody would ever get. He's not going to say, oh, by the way, you still need to be destroyed because you did the wrong thing to me. All wrong. No. God is trying to change us. So we, Jeremiah says, you know, your curse be upon them. But what that is, is a human suggestion. Sometimes we make suggestions that we might later say, I wished I hadn't made that suggestion. So God knows our heart, and he knows the best thing to do. It's a wonderful situation to be in. What lesson might we draw here? Well, hey, it's okay to vent your feelings to God. He'll, we give him our suggestions, he'll make the right decisions. The right decisions to maximize the opportunity for every heart to turn, to turn completely to Jesus. You know what? We can fully trust Jesus. Friend, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, sometimes we feel a little bit of vengeance. Sometimes we feel things that maybe aren't quite the things we should be feeling. The thoughts and feelings we have, Lord, we want to surrender all of them to you. May our thoughts be right thoughts. May our feelings be even the right feelings. May we give up any feeling that's the wrong thing. God, please act with your sovereign mercy and compassion and even cleanse our prayers. We don't know what to pray, but the Holy Spirit knows how to interpret it the way we wished it it were if we knew better. So, Lord, you be our helper. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for asking us to pray and then raining down mercy and grace upon those that are willing to receive it. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And God be with you today.